From the start, Biosphere 2 was ahead of its time, and through constant innovation and expansion, it remains positioned to address our world's most pressing issues. Biosphere 2 is advancing science within its walls and beyond, as shown by recent upgrades to its infrastructure, biomes, technology, and education programs. The ocean biome is an enclosed system for developing and deploying solutions to the world's coral reef crisis. With a new wave blower, pump, and heat exchanger, the ocean can accurately simulate the stresses and conditions found in natural marine systems. Research is enhanced by the addition of our ocean raceway, a nursery for corals. Here, corals grow beneath controlled lights in carefully monitored water, vital for experiments required before new organisms are introduced into the larger ocean biome. On every scale, Biosphere 2 continually explores new methods of efficiency and control. This state-of-the-art five-boiler system reduces our use of natural gas by 82% taking our campus, as a model city, into the future of energy efficiency. Of course, our machine infrastructure does not run itself. Enter SCADA. This new platform gives us greater flexibility and automated control over our facility. It also integrates a wide range of sensors into our biomes. Researchers can plug their complex instrumentation directly into SCADA, for data to be read, analyzed, and stored. Capitalizing on our improved dexterity to control our biome environments, we've introduced scores of new organisms. The savanna and desert team with plant additions. Giant clams, urchins, crabs, and fish have been added to the ocean. With funds provided by a National Science Foundation grant, Leo will soon bear alfalfa crops for studies regarding the interplay of air, water, soil, plants, and microbes. And in the rainforest, more than 120 new plants contribute to ambitious research projects, like one focused on methane emissions made by tree stems in the Amazon basin. Researcher Joost van Heren is testing out a unique, automated methane measuring system in the Biosphere 2 rainforest before it's introduced into the Amazon. Such experimentation will shed light on how natural sources contribute to the global methane budget. Our big questions are not limited to Earth. Our original test module is now being converted into a high-fidelity analog for SAM. When complete, SAM will be a sealed, human-in-the-loop system that simulates an off-world habitat. With an airlock, hub, and crew quarters, academic and commercial research teams will experiment with fertile soil creation, renewable energy development, computer modeling, and crew procedures. Our new telescope array tackles another challenge, how to track the tens of thousands of objects that orbit Earth. This is called SSA. Assistant Professor Vishnu Reddy of the Lunar and Planetary Laboratory at the University of Arizona is using the telescopes at Biosphere 2 and elsewhere to help make you, Arizona, a leader in tracking orbiting objects and predicting their paths. Yet another new asset is the SCC, a joint project between Stewart Observatory and Biosphere 2. With a data center and control room, this facility allows research teams, students, and the public to interact with spacecraft. A 6.1 meter radio antenna just outside the SCC communicates with satellites and other spacecraft and is open to student use, offering skill sets needed for careers in space business. One of the most important missions of Biosphere 2 is to offer profound opportunities to people near and far. The Biosphere 2 Experience app offers guests a tour aligned with their individual pace and interest level. It includes never-before-seen photos and videos that describe our 30-year history and features a wealth of science stories and interviews. Brand new doors and walkways in the rainforest and desert biomes further expand the visitor experience. A five-year grant extension from the National Science Foundation makes possible on-site 10-week internships geared toward students of underrepresented communities. Research projects and mentoring prepare students for graduate studies and careers in science. Also for undergraduates is a new 300-level interdisciplinary course. 
Taught by faculty representing seven colleges at U Arizona, it focuses on Earth systems with key themes including data science and modeling, research practices, climate change, and the provisioning of food and water for human societies. We're also connecting directly with U Arizona professors. So instead of us at Biosphere 2 trying to come up with the best way to engage all students at the university across multiple disciplines, why don't we get the faculty who are excited about engaging their students and give them the opportunity to come up with the ways to connect students to Biosphere 2. What we want to do is introduce the students to the multiplicity of natural biomes and microclimates and Biosphere 2 is the really the only place that we can do that in one location. Graduate and undergraduate students alike are served by our VIP program that offers ambitious, long-term, multidisciplinary projects led by faculty. The mission? To inspire the next generation of innovative problem solvers. Biosphere 2, since day one, has been ahead of its time. It's built in a way that can be transformed, and it's built in a way that has gotten better every single year. The world has realized that Biosphere 2 is the place to do its research. Biosphere 2, advancing science here and beyond.